it's quarter to 12 on this lovely Tuesday and so far I've been doing well vlog stuff as usual but also more wedding things just getting phone calls back from people I left messages with yesterday and me calling people getting things set up again like with the venue with the baker for the cake the place where I'm getting my dress I booked my appointment where not where for the dress fitting so um that's booked and uh, email decorator just like a lot of stuff going on here and now I am just kind of sitting here because I'm about to have like a Skype meeting slash interview kind of thing and so I just made sure all my settings are good and I'm just kind of waiting and it should start in about 15 minutes okay interview done that was really really nice um i was just being interviewed about art stuff for this website i'll be sure to link it when the article is out but yeah it was just kind of fun like just skype call talking about art things and the person who interviewed me is super nice and it was nice <laughs> anyway it's now just about one o'clock i'm gonna get some food and maybe a drink and I guess I can start the stream. I said I would start at 2 but I could probably get started at like 1.30 or something even because why not? Why not? <laughs> I got Christian to lock the cats upstairs. <laughs> Baby. Baby. Oh, look at that messy bed that never gets made. Oh, Kiki! I think I'm gonna take this pork that I cooked previously. It was one of those pre-spiced ones from Costco. I'm gonna cut them up a bit smaller and put them into a stir fry. I'm really hoping this package comes today that I've been waiting for. Initially, I thought it would come yesterday, but yesterday was a holiday, so I'm like, okay, today, hopefully it comes because it's a sponsored video. I was gonna have it go up this Friday, but I haven't even received the thing yet. And I'm like, uh, uh. <laughs> cause I, I need to start working on it. So if it's not here today, I'm probably just gonna do a different video for Friday. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a nice big Copic speed paint. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But if the thing does come, I'm gonna work on some coloring pages instead because the thing is a light box. And so, I can work on some coloring pages. Why do I always do this? It's like my new favorite thing to do. Sassy hair flip. Anyway, so, hopefully it'll come by the end of my live stream. That'll be my cutoff point, and then I'll spend the rest of the evening working on whatever video it ends up being. So I went downstairs to get my Surface so I could put on some Netflix while I cook and I ended up looking up stuff about 100% completion on Breath of the Wild instead and it's now 126 and I'm like, Bail, hurry up. The stream's starting in half an hour now. <laughs> Baby, I need that chair. I'm gonna have to eat during the stream because it needs to start in 10 minutes. Okay, it is six. The stream has ended. It's tempting to continue playing, but it's like, well, no, one, I have to stick to my end times so that I can stick to my daily schedule, but also I'm gonna be streaming again tomorrow morning. Like, there's no reason for me to wanna stream into the night because I'm gonna be streaming again in the morning from 10 to two. So it's like, you know, it'll, I'll sometimes have urges to keep going, but it'll be easy to quit knowing I'll stream again soon. So, yeah. I just raided Brooklyn. She's making some macadamia nut cookies. Oh, it looks so good. It's making me hungry. Anyway, my package did not come. I mean, I could check the front step, but there was no doorbell ring. I guess if someone knocked and left a package, it might be there. I know Amazon sometimes does that, but this isn't coming from Amazon. And it's not like I'm expecting it to arrive today. I'm just hoping it arrives today. <sighs> I was expecting it to arrive while I was still in Medicine Hat. So I'm like, mm, did it get lost in the mail? Is it stuck in customs? Yeah, there's nothing there.
I think I'm going to warm up a bit of my lunch leftovers, have that for supper, and start sketching. I'm just going to sketch random things, like whatever I feel like, but also trying to keep in mind that I need something for this light box video whenever it does come out. Like, just keep that in mind, like, oh, would this make a good coloring page? Uh, I also need something for a Copic speed paint if that's gonna be my backup video this Friday And then also I have my Sunday art stream. I need some kind of art Idea prepped for that. So in breath of the wild I'm trying to go for hundred percent completion and I was under the impression That the percent completion that it showed was not map completion was it was just like the full game 100% completion, but it's not it's just map completion that only counts discovering new locations, the Kuroks, the shrines, divine beasts, and towers. That's it. There's a bunch of other stuff. Like, I'm just upset because I wanted to do like full 100% completion, but I don't really have a way of tracking if I found it, everything. I want to see that percentage counter go up. <sighs> so what I might do is just do the 100% map completion and then also do the compendium which is taking pictures of items like weapons or creatures, things like that. I mean, I also want to do all the side quests, actually. Baby, that's not for you. Okay, she's actually licking it. Oh my god. They normally have zero interest in people food. I'll let them sniff it sometimes, and they're like, mm. You actually like that? She's licking the cheese thing. Here, do you want this one? You can have it. There, that one's yours now. That's two, actually. It's just Parmesan cheese. Made into a flaky chip type thing. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> it's kind of sad because it keeps moving. Okay, I have my cozy little corner set up here. I have the sketchbook, obviously. One of many. I always just grab a random one. <laughs> They're going to be so out of order. And then I brought other pencils and pens over and a sharpener. And then I have the good wife up there. My water here. Got a little bye Oh, hi. And I had to turn this light on so that I could actually get some light into this corner. <gasps> here comes Mina. She's been sleeping upstairs on the bed all day. I think I'll start off by drawing some things from this book. As you guys know, I got this right before I left town for most of July, and so I didn't get to use it before I left. But I want to work my way through my Andrew Loomis books. I got three of them. So I want to work my way all the way through all of them. Treat them kind of like a textbook do studies from them, read what it says in them, all that stuff. Just treat it like a textbook and work my way through. One head down, a bajillion to go. Thank you. So many faces, but no video ideas yet. That was more like studies, not drawing random things that I can later use in videos. I was flipping through some other art books of mine, just trying to, I don't know, get inspired. Sometimes you like see a color palette you like, or just like a shape that gives you an idea. And for me, it was the shapes. I kind of feel like making something that has a shape with a character popping out, but additional shape. I don't know, I don't know. I gotta start doodling and figure it out. So I've completely changed my mind on what I'm doing. I'm gonna do an old lady witch and she's shopping. First I wasn't sure if I wanted some kind of market type thing, but I think I'm gonna go with shopping cart in kind of your typical grocery store and there will be bottles of potions lined up on the shelves. First I pictured a younger witch and she's holding a basket and I was like, you know what? No, we need a cart. I'm gonna make it an old lady witch. I don't know if that's what her face is gonna look like, but it's just kind of an idea, an idea for her general outfit. And so I think that's what I really do. I wanna film the sketching for this one, because sometimes I film the sketching, sometimes I don't. And I, 
I like to keep a balance. Like with the Zodiac one, I didn't film the sketching, so I think for this one, I am going to film it. But I'm not going to do that tonight because I want to get to bed at a good time. I'll have Wednesday, Thursday to work on it, so that should be tons of time. And, yeah, yeah, ideas. <laughs> Didn't even end up going with my initial geometric idea. But I can use that another day. I never did get a fleshed out idea. I did a few thumbnails and I was like, no, no, no. The outfit is somewhat inspired by this that I pulled out, the what people wore when. This is actually the outfit that inspired it, even though really the only similarities are the apron and then the long sleeve shirt with the cuff. But yeah, yeah, yay for arty books. The tiniest thing can spark an idea. I should make this my usual little sketching corner because I hate sitting at my desk to sketch. I think it's because I just do everything else at my desk that I'm just like, you know what, I just want to sit back in a comfy seat. I don't want to be sitting at my usual chair and leaning forward over my desk. I just want to sit back, relax, doodle. Anyway, it's bedtime for me, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. But the wedding is on the 7th not the 17th, and so I immediately freaked out. I scrolled up to the top of the contract. Sure enough, it says the event date, October 17th. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> okay, because I struggled to find a videographer because a lot of people I contacted were already booked.